Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another episode of Supersonic Meals. Today's special ingredient is a whole rabbit, but we're gonna cook half of it. All right, so we're gonna use five cloves of garlic and fly, five slices of ginger, some celery, red potatoes, mushrooms, I believe these are white, some of these um, smaller tomatoes, two medium yellow onion, and some baby carrots. And we're gonna cook this in the crock pot you see back here. Slow cook it for about six hours on low setting. In addition, we're gonna use chicken broth or stock I made the other day with my chicken drumsticks. Alright, so let me wash cut these up and prepare it before I put in the crock pots. So here I have half of the rabbit cut along the spine. And I'm going to cut these later into six or seven smaller pieces. So here I have the vegetables washed and cut. Seems like this might be more than what I can fit in the crock pot. So I'm going to have to revise it to half an onion, two tomatoes, two branches from the celery stalk, all right, and, um, and three of the mushrooms, and just a handful of the baby carrots. All right, so here I'm at my crock pot buffet station have it on low setting, it's been warming up. Remove the lid. That's how it looks like inside. I've washed it. I might have my chicken stock I made the other day. I believe that's about 10 ounces. Okay. I'm gonna throw in my seven piece of chopped up rabbit, cut up rabbit, and some salt, some sesame oil, some crushed red pepper. And I'm gonna throw in my assortment of vegetable goodies so once again that's mushrooms tomatoes baby carrots celery onions yellow onions put that in there Oh, and red potatoes. Let's not forget that. Fits nicely. Alright, now a little bit more oil. Not too much. Some more crushed red pepper. And some more salt. You're going to cover it. It's cooking at low, right? Low temperature. And it's going to take about six hours. And we'll come back maybe three hours to see how it is. How it turns out. So I'll be back. Alright, so let me check on the rabbit stew. It's been three hours. Look at that. Smelling so good. Look at the juices. Look at that piece of rabbit. See that? All tender and moist. The potato is probably still too hard for it. But it looks like everything else is pretty much done. So we still have about three hours more to cook. So we'll come back and do a plating and taste test. So my rabbit stew is finally done. <laughs> See that? It's been cooking for six hours on low. 
let me show you what it looks like oh yeah this definitely smells good now let's play it and see how it, well it tastes all right here we go all played and ready to go let's taste it definitely smell the vegetables the aroma is fabulous let's try a little bit of the broth this is made from chicken drumsticks from yesterday oh wow it's like a soup in itself from all the vegetables wow awesome definitely a for the for the broth let's try a little bit of each mushroom one. yeah that's good red potatoes tomato Carrots, baby carrots. Hmm, I wish it was a little bit softer. Maybe I should cook this a little bit longer, like for eight hours. <clears throat> All right, so onions, celery, and lastly, the most important secret ingredient see how it's falling off the bones the rabbit oh yeah that's moist see that look look at that focus on that wow So overall the dish I have to rate it 84% uh, it could use a little bit more salt and maybe a little long cooking for the harder vegetables to become softer and maybe I could use a thicker broth but all in all you know it's healthy you know it's good so be on the lookout for my next episode Super Sonic Meals I'm out.